previously. So what we're going to try and find is the Bone Welder, which is apparently in the dungeon. Actually, this is perfect timing because we need to fight Skeletron, don't we, to get in to the dungeon and he he can only be fought at night. So this is going to work out rather well. We'll fight him, we'll go in, we'll look for the Bone Welder and then with that done, we don't need to be in the jungle. And that will probably fill up our inventory to the max. So I'm thinking if we get it or we don't, what we'll do after the dungeon is we'll head back to our world, World 7 Pipeland, put away everything that's in inventory because we have a lot of stuff. And then before coming back to look for more stuff, do you reckon we should, should we crack into some Christmas presents? We have some left over. And they need using. And we do need that dog whistle. So we can hope and pray that the ones that we get... Hey! Out of the presents. The presents that we get have the dog whistle in. How far away is this thing? Almost there! Come on, turtle. Follow me. Right. Get the horseman's blade on. And we'll chip to chop old Skeletron up. Let's go! Hello? Skeletron? Oh, there you are. Skeletron trophy there. You know what? We might as well pick it up, get rid of whatever crap just filled our inventory. There we go. Now, Bone Welder. I have no idea what this is going to look like. You know what? Potions. Potions, potions, potions. Still struggling to see anything. Let's get the torches on. In fact, let's get one of these guys out. He can kill stuff as we torch up because I can't see crap. I saw some emeralds growing, growing, glowing. Over there, those hurt. So I'm imagining it's probably going to be in a chest or dropped by an enemy. I should have done more research, I guess. I just looked at where it would be, the general location. I don't like spoiling cells for me. Spoiling cells? Spoiling things for myself. Or for me. Myself. Hey, it's the mechanic. Hello. I save you. I don't want anything you've got. What is this on the wall here? In fact, I can pop it off like this, can I? No? Do I have to mine it? Oh, it's like a candle stand. Blue dungeon lamp. Cool, I guess. Oh, there's a bunch of dungeon-y stuff here, look. I'm guessing I might need some gold keys. Is it piano? Maybe it will be found on the ground, who knows? Everything else needs to be on the bloody ground. Buy own chests. Land in our trap. Angry bones. This was you to drop one? Maybe they get dropped. These aren't bone welders, are they? They're just like pianos. I guess we're going up here. That's where we came from. Go back down. This way. Nope, there's nowhere over there. Up is the direction in which we wish to travel. Looking for this bone welder. Yeah, I don't like spoiling them. I like to know that there are new things. And I like to know the rough location so I don't have to spend forever doing it. But I like to discover it for myself, whether it's dropped by an enemy or... Dropped from a chest. There we go, golden key. Uh, yeah, sure. Bars of gold as well. And I don't care about anything else. Seems quite fine, doesn't it? 
some of those lanterns I like up there. I would take them, but cannot be bothered. I'm in tourist too full. Oh, I have potions. Right, uh, let's open this. Nope, didn't have what we wanted. Now we've got to hope for some uh, golden keys, I guess. If it's in a golden chest, that is. If only I'd have known, I would have brought some with me. Oh, there's one. I do need space to pick it up, though. There we go. Yeah, I've got thousands of the golden keys at home. Alright, plenty of stuff here. Let us open this one. Don't really want any of that. Oh well. Right, move on. Another key, please. Would be appreciated. You, you have keys. Give me a key. There we go. Nice. Head back. Sometimes, a lot of the time, I don't know if it's changed, but a lot of the time you used to be able to find golden keys in golden chests. There's a shadow key there. Take that. Take this. You know what, let's crank out a bunch of potions, see what's going on. Yeah, you used to be able to find golden keys in the golden chests, which meant you could pretty much sort of bounce around opening them all for free. That's right, I'm placing rope instead of torches. Hmm. Well, we know there is such a thing as a burn well there. We got really excited a long time ago. I remember when I was looking through uh, things to craft and I was like, oh, what the hell is a burn well there? So we know it exists. I reckon it's got to be in a chest, right? Which means we need keys. Keys, keys, keys. Hello, give me a key, give me a key, give me a key. I'm entirely unsure why there are so few enemies here. Usually the dungeon is just packed to the rafters. We might have to come back again, like I say, um, for the other stuff. If I bring a bunch of keys with me. We'll be ready to open the place up, but... Otherwise, we just... Have to try and fight our way for a key. Hmm. Where do we come from? You, give me a key. Wherever you are. Whoever and wherever you are. Okay, right. Can we... Up. Up. And out, I guess, like this. Hey. Yeah, so if I was recording normally, I would have ended this video about half an hour ago, actually. But, with my new... Oh, there's a key there. With my new recording setup, I can record for a lot longer, and I'm really loving the fact that I can. So I'm going to try and record for as long as I can. I've got plenty to do. The only thing stopping me is if I get hungry or thirsty. I have a drink near me, but no food. And I wouldn't like to eat food. Anyway, that... No. That's a shame. Right, I think what we're going to do then is get out of this place. Let's find a key. It is plausible. Come on. I'm going to be away to the entrance anyway. And if we manage to get out before finding a key, what we shall do is go back to our own world. And I'll, I will cut out the fact that I'm going to put away so much stuff. I'll be in my boxes for like two episodes worth of content. So I just, I will, I'll cut that out completely. And then when we come back, we'll be ready to open the remaining 50 presents. Do, do we have 50? Or 99? I think it left 99, didn't we? And... I've shown pretty much everything that can come out of them apart from the whistle. So I'm not going to sit there like the last few times saying eggnog, candy cane, pine cones, etc, etc. I'll just literally just click all the way through them. Possibly put on some music as I do so. As I just hammer them out. And pray that I get the dog whistle. 
If we get the dog whistle before we run out of presents, we'll save the rest of the presents. Just, I always like to have one of everything, at least. Right, so out of here, I nearly went to main menu, exit without saving. I don't know why that's in my brain, but we shall save and exit, and I'll see you guys in a few moments. Okay, guys, we've just put everything away, and wouldn't you know it, it is a blood moon full moon, so I'm going to quickly turn on these so we don't die. And, uh, yeah, inventory is looking nice and clean. I even put away those 49 platinum coins that were in my inventory because I am an idiot of carried them into a new world where I could have potentially died. Right, so, of things that we can do. Uh, I wanted to go visit the shop, see if anything is new on sale. Still waiting for the mechanic to sell that fishing rod. I know I said it's to do with the phase of the moon. But I don't know if she has to sell it on the night or in the day too. So wait until morning. I still like the idea of waiting through a full blood moon. So what we can do actually when this rift is busy is we're going to drop down and we're going to open up these 99 presents and see if we can grab a dog whistle. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly spam away through them. We don't care if it's candy cane blocks or fawn chakras or whatever, or outfits. We're just looking out for that whistle and see, let's see what we get. I was so surprised, nearly choked to death. Uh, we got the dog whistle with 20 to spare. Holy crap, that's good. Look, right, let's clear some space. I almost, almost threw away my lava waders as well. So we got another hand warmer, which I think is another one of the very rare ones. But there it is, that's the, the dog whistle. That is pretty amazing. We now have... Oh, actually, we don't have all the pets now. Because <laughs> of the update, has added two more. Uh, two quite rare ones as well. I'm going to drop down in a second. Hoop, hoop, hoop. We're going to go in here. I'm going to put away these. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we want to add to this. The noise of these whales dying is just something else entirely. They seem to take very little, have very few invincibility frames is what I mean to say. So they just go D -d 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 -d, constantly taking that damage. Right, let's get up. What is that down here? Oh. I think it's somebody's guts. Right, so what are we looking for? What are we looking for? We want to put away some stuff. Now I... Jeez, look at all this. Look at all this. We'll take it just because it's no stuff to sell and whatnot. Right, uh, I want to... Look at putting away stuff. That's right. I'll just try and quick stack what I can. I don't like doing this on camera anymore. I always cut it out. How did this even get in here? I cut this out almost constantly now because it's just not fun to watch me going through chests anymore. But I want to see what I can stack up to get rid of. Here's what I'm looking for. Oh, we've got plenty of snow globes, so we can get rid of these. Not that one. Not that one. Thank you very much. Jeez. Whew. Mini heart attack there. All right, candy cane blocks. I think go in here. And then other... Oh, we hit 99 on that. Oh, in here. In here? In here? Alright, I guess these are going then. That's am Not ammo. Like shurikens. Yeah, they can go in there. Uh, food for the foodie place. That can just go away. It has plus 4% damage on it. How much is on the one that I have? Oh, plus 4%. That's not bad. That'll sell for quite a bit. Uh, that can get sold as well. KO cannon can get sold as well. That's some more food. More food. Ah, uh, ca green candy cane blocks. Hmm. Obsidian brick wall. Go away. 
Might as well flick those around. And then hand warmer goes somewhere in one of these. But where? Up here it looks like. Uh, you know what? I'll stick it down here. Got a lot of moonstones. That just shows how many solar eclipses we get. These are very rare. And then... I think we're good to go. Got a bit more money on us. We can pop that away. I'm not quite sure how close we are to the end of the evening. I guess I can talk to the clock. Or look at the clock rather than speak to it. It's not a speaking clock. Is that something that's in other countries? Do you guys have a speaking clock as in like a service that you can call up and see what the time is? Maybe that's just an English thing. In England we can dial... What is it? 123? It's not 123. Maybe it is 123. I can't remember what it is now. But you dial a number and uh, you get a speaking clock. Tells you what the time is. This is very uh, important back in the days before people had clocks, of course. Although, who would have a phone if they didn't have a clock? I don't know. Yeah, is that just a British thing, an English thing anyway? I'm actually intrigued. 